cellars in uh, Duero Valley, Portugal. So tell me a little bit about the winery and the history, because your family has been bumping around in the Duero for a long time. Yes, my it? family has been in the Duero for over 300 years. <laughs> Not me, I met the family. Yes. And um, the we were the owners of Quinta de Noval and Van Which Selsen I love. Company. That's just yeah. a gorgeous property. It was a beautiful property. It is a beautiful property. Mm. We sold that in 1993. And so I started my own project um, back in 1996 uh -huh. uh, with Quinta Valdana Maria, which has been in my wife's family for over 300 years also. Oh, that's very exciting yeah. then to yeah. sort of refresh Building it. From, yeah. Refresh it and starting from scratch. Uh -huh. uh, it was a ruin uh, with 10 hectares of vineyards and I started it um, keeping the vineyards, maintaining the vineyards. Now when you say 10 hectares in the Dordo, the vineyards are so steep. So, yeah. uh, you know, how many terraces is 10 hectares? That's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a lot of terracing. It looks more than 10 hectares, but it, mm. in surface it's 10 hectares. And protecting the old vineyards was crucial uh, mm. for the style of wines that we wanted to produce. So we now have 40 hectares. Uh -huh. We've been in slowly increasing the property by hiring, uh, renting or buying neighboring vineyards, which were part of the old estate mm. uh, in the original estate. Century, the original estate centuries ago. And um, redoing Van Zellers and Company, which was my family pot company, original pot company, which I got back in 2006 uh -huh. uh, from a cousin of mine who owned the brands and the company with no assets. So I joined the two together, and now Quinta Valdana Maria and Van Zelsen Company are together, the Quinta being the base of the company, uh -huh. and producing Doro Reds, that was our project from the beginning, and so of course dry vintage red port, dry red table wines, white and basically reds, but also uh -huh. a little bit of white, and ports, vintage ports, and we're now going into the old Tonys, 10 year old Culeitas and so on, trying Beautiful. to rebuild an old name. And in terms of marketing the dry reds, mm -hmm. because most people when they think of the Douro, they think of port, yeah. fortified wines. Um, how is that for you? Are you having trouble explaining to people that there's more to the Douro than, than fortified wines? Yeah, at the beginning, yes. Uh -huh. Now, I think we've, we've, we've done a certain work that has shown that the Douro is more than just for port. Yes. Um, and that we can produce a world-class wine in the Douro also, next to the other world-class wine, which is port. Mm. And uh, although the volumes are small, because you, you cannot do it the same way you do port, you cannot make large volumes, you have to be much more careful about the vineyards and be, be much more attentive. But uh, we've been spreading the word about Douro. Yes and about quality and um, the five Doro boys we've been it's a bit of weird of a name but it works it's great it's great the Doro um, boys and we've been working very hard on promoting our own brands uh -huh. and promoting the Doro which is part of our name as a group and showing the, the enormous quality and the potential of what we have and we've been getting there somehow we have a long way to go but uniqueness it's one very important point. We are very exclusive because we produce very little of each of the wines. Uh -huh. That's part of the Doro character. You cannot produce large volumes of um, top Doro wines. It's impossible. Uh -huh. It's very exclusive, but very uh, affordable at the same time. You know, the exclusive, uh, the, the sh being chic doesn't have to be expensive, but being chic is being exclusive, right? So. Uh, we are exclusive because of the uniqueness of what we produce. Nobody is crazy enough to plant 41 grape varieties in one single place <laughs> at that percentage of those 41 grape varieties. That's, that's chic verging on crazy. Yes, <laughs> a mixture. But clearly it works. So yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very um, much. Very pleased to learn more about the winery. Thank you very much.